If you're like me and you don't like having your own drama, but you love other people's drama, woo, it's been a morning. All this stuff unfolded on Facebook this morning about this small town in Texas. It all started when this beautiful woman named Cecily started posting photos of her and her soon-to-be fiancé, Jason. Someone on Facebook was like, hey, he looks pretty familiar. <laughs> Turns out he's married. He's married to a woman named Opal, and she has not come forward in all this, so I'm not showing her photo. So Cecily blows up his spot. Things get spicy, however, when Christy enters the picture. He is also engaged to Christy. Now, she and Cecily are in the comments together, piecing together the story. Turns out he falsified documents to show them that he had an annulment with his wife. Which is kind of a problem because he's the police chief. The Steinitz City Police Department has taken their Facebook page down because of this. Messy! Messy, messy. Hey, sorry, I just, I just feel like the biggest piece of shit. So, sorry. I didn't mean to hide anything, or lie to you. Sorry. So sorry. Please just. Four twenty one Eddie. What's your twenty? I just want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. Question: We'll be in the alley Great. between the Harbor Place and the back of the Harbor Place. So, I'm sorry. Morning, babe. I know you're probably taking the kids to school and everything, but just wanted to send you a video and say good morning and hope you're having a good day so far. And, uh, just thinking about you and missing you and can't wait to see you so have a good day and holler at me here in a little bit okay love you bye bye just wanted to let you know that and uh, just whenever you're done with your meeting just holler at me or text me call me whatever you know I can chat with you so anyway I'll just I'll torture you with a sunglass pig now <laughs> so uh, just holler at me when you're done hope you have a good meeting just stumbled upon the best freaking Facebook post ever. And I am going to share it with all of you. Meet this beautiful couple, Cicely and Jason. Aren't they so cute? Cicely shared this photo about one week ago. And it just seemed like these two crazy kids were so happy and engaged. Isn't love grand? That is until the power of Facebook Cicely found out that Jason is a naughty, naughty boy with a wife. I mean, that's going to piss off any female, but that is not why this boy <laughs> just went viral. Let's talk about Jason, shall we? I don't know why I just said that in a tongue twister. Let's talk about Jason, shall we? Hmm. Chief of police, a ordained minister, and apparently a hoe. Life for part two. All right, part two. See part one about this douche canoe. So anyway, so everyone's coming for Jason in the comments, and Cicely is now providing us some receipts. Cue the annulment papers from his first wife. Upon further review by people known in this county, this is a fake. <laughs> I can't even make this shit up. You... Fuck boys are getting more and more creative. Yeah, that's right. This isn't even real. But that is what he had given Cicely because his announcement about chief of police said that he was married and that it was a mistake. Even went so far to show her the Facebook post that was edited out that he was just a father of four. And then just sent her this. Plausible? Maybe. But later, we find out much more. Like for part three, this is getting... Part three. Go back to one and two if you want a recap of this big douche. So anyway, so this was the... Down here was the original Facebook post. Oh, no. That was the original. I don't know. Either one. Come to find out, he is in charge as chief of police of this Facebook. So he went and hurried and edited that he was no longer married. 
just this, you know, loving father of four. No mention of a fiance either. But he sent that to her to appease her and also the fake annulment papers. So let's recap. He has a wife and now a fiance. Neither one knew about each other. Well, this shit just got better. How much better, you say? Well, along the comments, I scrolled upon this one. Meet Christy, and Christy has some questions of her own. And upon further review, we just found out, well, you're gonna have to like for the next one because I'm running out of time to explain all this shit. Part four. So you're gonna have to go back, read about the douchebag, blah, 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 blah. So this is where shit just got good. It's because of Christy that all of this is playing out. How you may ask? Well, a friend saw another post of dear old Jason's with the previous girl, Cicely. I hope I'm saying her name right. Then contacted her and here we are. Who is Christy? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Christy is fiance number two. I can't. I, I can't. You can't even get a text back. And this motherfucker got a wife and two fiancés. So the timeline looks like this. He has a wife. Fiancé number one is Cicely. That was in November. Enter Christy, fiancé number two, in December of the same year. This boy gets around better than the clap. And just when you think the story can get better, it does. Guys, as I am uploading this, the story is still developing. This shit is gold! Part five of the biggest cheating scandal lie. I don't even know. Like for all the other posts and read them. I, I can't even. I got so much to say. So now Christy and Cicely are exchanging stories. Talking about timelines of one who was with who. Stories about broken windows when he was with the other woman. They're even sharing video messages from this boy when he was with one. He was video chatting the other. Why these girls never asked for him to FaceTime. I still fucking understand. And they're all within a certain radius of bordering states. And this boy cannot stop lying to save his life. Mind you, there are a lot of innocent kids involved because Christy has children, I'm not sure about Cicely, and his own kids. Have they contacted the wife? Yes, but they don't believe now that it was actually her that they were even speaking to. Okay, again, see you in the next video. Part whatever, because I can't keep up, go back to the previous videos because this shit is just getting good and it is unfolding right now. So in a previous video, I told you that Cicely had contacted Opal, the wife, and now she's questioning if it even was her because both girls state that he wanted and believed that both parties should have each other's passwords even though he never gave his they gave theirs or maybe so opal apparently said that they were indeed divorced but now it appears from opal's now deleted facebook they weren't and they think that it was him acting like her oh my god so as everyone's talking back and forth and feeling really, really bad for these girls, this happens. Another woman comes forward. We don't know who she is. We don't know if she was a fiance, but she was definitely a girlfriend. Continue to the next video. Part seven, because this shit's gonna be a mini series. So to recap, we have a wife, two fiances, that we know their names, and a mystery girlfriend. And this shit started unfolding yesterday. Tell me girls are not like legitimately the FBI better than the FBI. So we left, one other girl has come forward to Sicily. More shit is being said, more stories, everyone's comparing notes. And just when you think it can't get worse for these poor women, Meet Katie! They met about a month ago, and that is also her boyfriend. <laughs> Some of y'all can't even get a text back. My boy is busy. Like, I'd love to see his frequent flyer miles. So as of now, the wife and Jason's Facebooks are gone. Notes are being exchanged. Like for the part eight of the biggest douche nozzle in history. These poor girls. And I'm sure you guys are thinking to yourself, like, why weren't any of these girls Facebook official? Like, why didn't anyone question it? Well, a lot of cops don't have social media or they keep their social medias extremely private. Him being the chief of police of his town, he probably used that as an excuse. Most dirty cops do. But I digress. Let's go for more. 
So while everyone is talking and all these stories are coming out and girls are exchanging notes and I am sitting back popping popcorn, this shit breaks. My boy was placed on administrative leave. That's because everyone and their mama is commenting on their official Facebook page. How you like them apples, Jason? Next time we're in porn, stop trying to fuck over so many girls. And just when you think the story is close to being done, you're wrong. Like for the next one. Part nine of the biggest living, breathing STD. Let's take a moment and appreciate this. The creativity. So we all know what happens when a Facebook post goes viral. <laughs> People are gonna start talking. So this beauty came up. My boy was on search for the next wifey, girlfriend, fiance. Like seriously, where does he have so much money to buy so many rings? The crazy thing is, for all these women, he was like in a hurry to get married. Red flag, bitch. I lie, I've been that desperate sometimes, but I digress. There's an entire Facebook page, like, dedicated to this boy and getting all the story out and then this happened <laughs> this is the next girlfriend i can't even get my kid's name straight when i'm yelling like how do you do this and then shit just got dark light for the next one part 10 and this is when things kind of turn dark so trigger warning Someone had the brilliant idea to make a Jason Collier, a Netflix series account. Everyone's exchanging notes. Well, now this is allegedly, there is no evidence to the sort that he may be involved with a missing girl. Now the same missing girl's family has come forward saying that they don't have any evidence about this yet, but there you go. It's just sus. Then a male high school friend came forward and said that there was some inappropriateness going on when the friend was young. Let's just leave it that I don't feel like getting kicked off of TikTok. So as of now, there are like 10 possible victims to this asshat. With that being said, there are two sides to every story and I need to say that. So yeah, I don't get sued. Like for Part 11. This is the apology video that he sent Cicely after she notified him that she found out about his wife. This bitch didn't even know the good stuff yet. Enjoy. Hey, sorry. I just, I just feel like the biggest piece of shit. Who you are. So, sorry. He's trying to make himself cry. I not mean to hide anything or lie to you. No. Mm -mm. Sorry. Not a tear. Not a tear. I'm so sorry. Please, this is 121 Eddie. Make the tears. Oh. I want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. We'll be in the alley. Stop putting your penis and everything. Just, uh, there's a place in the back of the head. I'm sorry. Liar! Part whoever fucking knows anymore. So. We are all caught up at this moment, but this story is developing by the second. Pause to read because here is a breakdown of all of our characters. All of these poor women. Allegedly. We can only confirm a couple. And since his Facebook is now deactivated and his wife's Facebook is now deactivated, I doubt we hear from them anytime soon. This douche nozzle has now been placed on administrative leave. Hopefully, this all makes him stop for at least a fraction of a second from dipping into another girl's DMs. This is also why I believe that we should have like something like Yelp for our exes. Like, look up a hope. But seriously, what he's done is wrong. It's just crude and nasty. <laughs> but rely on me to keep you guys updated. Breaking news, bitches! I told y'all, I'm here for y'all. I'm gonna stay on top of the story. But first, some of you, very little, are trolling my account, calling me a child, asking me why I'm so invested, trying to hurt other people. I'm sorry, syphilis Susan. I'm just a messy ass bitch. I'm bored. My kids aren't home. Suck it. And now back to the breaking news. Just when we think this shit can't get any better, this happened. That's right. There's another girl. 
chimp two-year-old and another one on the way. I don't know if it's his, but if I was a betting woman, I'd say yes. But this kumquat tried to tell this poor girl he was in Iraq. He also told the previous women that he had a job in Louisiana. As a representative of Louisiana, we don't want you here. Sinet Chief of Police, Jason Collier, now on administrative leave as of this afternoon. Fox 14's Kaylee Green has more from the city of Stinnett. She joins us live in studio with what to this point has just been limited confirmed details. What do we know at this hour, Kaylee? Andy, when we asked for comment earlier, the city of Stinnett put out a statement this afternoon about Chief Collier. It reads, quote, the city of Stinnett is aware of the current situation surrounding the chief of police, Jason Collier. The city is taking this seriously and will be looking into any violations of city policy. It would go on to say Chief Jason Collier has been placed on administrative leave while the city investigates possible violations of city employment policy. They say they will refrain from commenting on any personal issues of personnel in a public forum. I then reached out to local elected officials. Stinnett Mayor Colin Locke tells me he doesn't want to expand much on the city statement, but he says, quote, there's possible violation of city policy. He says he'll wait to see how that investigation goes. I also called all the city aldermen about the matter we were unable to reach. Andy Trahan, Jaime Jimenez, and Jason Dodson. No comment from Ralph Battenhorst. We've also reached out to Collier and are awaiting response. Live This is the ballad of Jason Collier, that <laughs> poor, poor man. Jason Collier was the chief of police way down in Stinnett, Texas. His story's beyond belief. Jason had a secret that he kept from his wife and all four of his children. He led a secret life, a secret life he kept from his wife. Oh yeah, a secret life he kept from his wife. Had him a mistress. Okay, he had himself too. Cecily and Christy both thought he was their man true. So he proposed to both of them, which was against the law. Cause he was already married. That was his fatal flaw. His fatal flaw. Follow the law, his fatal law. I ran afoul of the law. Well, he asked their dad for both of their hands, the mark of a man. He even bought them both rings. Cecily suspected something was wrong. She knew all along, so she set up a sting. She set up a sting. Bought them both rings. Yeah, he got caught in a sting. When he bought them both rings, the girls found out about Jason. They sounded out the alarm. Can't get yourself double married. The third time's not the charm. Now Jason's off the police force. His life has been destroyed Hard to pay for three wives When you're unemployed His life is destroyed Now he's unemployed And his wife is annoyed She can't be overjoyed 